A mural of George Floyd is one of the many new faces and pieces here at Graffiti Alley. It's all part of a project called Paint the City Black. Originally we were thinking about um, just painting pieces in black and white, similar to Blackout Tuesday. Uh, we wanted to kind of mobilize that idea and like physically do it in Graffiti Alley. And so we reached out to a bunch of graffiti artists, this is one of the organizers as well, to basically paint uh, either your name or someone who passed away's name uh, in black and gray as a form of like showing support uh, for the movement. So this one right here says, uh, I can't and then breathe in graffiti. And it's really cool to see like graffiti being used for political reasons. And over the weekend, close to 40 artists joined with paint cans at hand, painting murals of those who passed and have made an impact in the Black Lives Matter movement. Starting with uh, Jamal Francique, this is a portrait of a black man from Peel region who, um, you know, passed away under similar circumstances of everything that's being protested. Beside him, we see a work of art that I actually did. It's my memorial for George Floyd. It says Big Floyd in graffiti lettering because that was his stage name. He was an MC. Inside the lettering, we see the names of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, Douglas C. Lewis, David McAtee, and Regina Korchinski Paquette. This mural behind us represents Brianna Taylor. This is a memorial. I paint animals for the most part. I try and use nature as a metaphor for the different issues that I want to talk about. And in this case, obviously, um, the Black Panthers were a really um, prominent political party in the states and standing up for, um, uh, standing up against police brutality and, and uh, you know, racist violence. The black and gray graffiti is meant to get people talking and to realize that racism does not only exist south of the border. It's not just an American problem and um, you know we do face some of these things here um, in, in this city and I as, uh, as a black man and as an artist of color share some of these experiences so it's really important that we're drawing attention to it which is why we wanted to, uh, to do this event in the first place. Although it started here in Graffiti Alley, organizers are hoping that this artwork will get more of a permanent home somewhere else in the city. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.